Portland had light. You know, millions of people come and visit this lighthouse and I wanted to do it justice in my own interpretation of it. So I, I, it took me two years to finish this piece and five other pieces when I first started it. I really wanted to capture just how magnificent this lighthouse is. Uh, the shadows, you see, I waited, I think I came, went to visit it nine times uh, throughout the year to find out what, how, what was the best shadows. Edward Hopper, the famous American painter whom I am inspired, uh, I, I'm totally inspired by his work, uh, painted this years ago, I think in the 1930s. And um, I noticed his shadows, but I wanted to, to just to find something unique that shows the real, the shape of the actual building. You see how, the, how it really makes a difference in the shadows. Um, and the distance uh, with the clouds in the background just adds a lot of uh, depth to it. Little animation of, of uh, Rogoza Roses, uh, the bold text, finding my own lettering to create, uh, looking back in the, the books from the 1920s and 30s, trying to find uh, my own interpretation of, um, of lettering. So I created my own font to, to put uh, Portland Headlight. Uh, limit use of colors too. I could, you know, it's all done digitally. So because it's digital, I could, I could work with different colors and I thought this light cream color was perfect. Uh, it just adds more vintage look to it. And having a big neg negative space here really adds uh, just more depth and more, um, uh, it has more strength to it because there's so much negative space around this. So, uh, Portland Headlight.